Hi again and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the 2x4 tent setup that we have for auto flowers. We're going to take a look at everything that we have in here to make the environmental controls largely automated just to make your grows easier with one less thing you have to worry about and overall it's extremely silent. If you're looking for a quiet grow tent setup this is the video for you. For this setup we want the Vivo Sun 2x4 tent about five feet tall and features two six inch ports one at the top and one at the bottom on each left and right side along with two air vents to adjust your airflow into the tent features a six inch exhaust fan out the top on the right side and also on the back a four inch opening at the top and bottom for cables and cords overall the tent is really great quality the zippers are very top notch and durable there's a viewing port window on the front that you can pull down with velcro to take a look inside of your plants without opening it up to disturb the environment and overall it's a great built tent for the price of under a hundred dollars you really can't go wrong with the Vivo Sun. They make a lot of quality products. Definitely check it out if you're looking for a tent like this. It also features a metal tube frame construction with support bars up top for hanging lights and various other things that you'll need. And it has a highly reflective inside to help reflect lights and get your plants growing all around. It also features a removable tray in the bottom that can be removed and cleaned in between your grows to help keep things clean and keep pests away. Speaking of pests, always try and place your tent on a hard floor or or concrete. This will help keep pests down out of your tent. They do like carpet and other things. So if you can place it on hard floor whenever possible. For me, I had an extra two by four rack that I put under my tent that just helps lift it up just a small amount, keeps airflow under the tent, keeps the plants from sitting on the cold ground. That's just all around gonna help your plants and your environment. And speaking of environment, let's move on to the exhaust fan and fans and air circulation inside your tent. For this exhaust fan, I went with the AC Infinity Cloud line T4. It features temperature and humidity control with a controller that you can set your high and low limits to turn on and off the fan to regulate your temp or your humidity highs and lows it works really well it's extremely quiet anything below five setting is almost inaudible when you're sitting right next to it all the way up to 10 which is much quieter than other typical exhaust fans you'll find on the market if you're gonna not skimp on something i would say this exhaust fan would be the number one thing if you're trying to keep sound down and you want something that's going to help regulate your temperature and humidity the ac infinity cloudline t4 is the perfect fit for a tent this size and to complement that we have the ink bird humidity controller this lets you set the highs and lows for humidity with an on off switch to either turn on your humidifier or dehumidifier depending on the rh in your tent this working with the fan is really going to help control your humidity inside the tent and your air temperatures it's a killer combo and they work seamlessly also have a pair of cheap homes adjustable fans just to keep the air circulating inside the tent. They have a two speed adjustment with a clip that clips great to the sides of the frame. As for humidifiers, I went through a few different ones till I found the one I really loved and worked for this setup. This is for a reptile tank, but it has a four liter capacity with top fill. So that means there's no removing anything to fill it, just pour more water in the top. And with the hose on the top that feeds out into the tent, it saves room inside your tent because the humidifier does not have to be inside. That means you do not have to open your tent to fill your humidifier. With the four liter capacity, I found that it lasts upwards of a week, depending on your humidity settings. As for dehumidifiers, nothing too substantial. In conjunction with the AC Infinity exhaust fan and the Inkbird controller, it really helps dial the tent in. But if the humidity starts creeping up, the dehumidifier that I hung in the top of the tent will kick on and then start to dehumidify and bring the RH down. I do plan on drilling a hole in the reservoir for the dehumidifier and running a tube out the side of the tent. That way I can empty that into a bucket, not have to open the tent or ever empty the dehumidifier, but just empty the bucket out. Also have an exhale CO2 bag in the tent. Always put them up high so the CO2 falls down low to the plants. These do last up to six months inside your tent, supplying CO2, which is gonna help them through veg and bloom if you're running high light output. As for the light, we're running a Bloom Plus BP2500. It features Samsung chips in 3500K, 6500K, infrared and red spectrums, a full spectrum to give your plants maximum growth throughout vegetative and bloom phases. The output is high enough to bloom this tent out easily, so it's a really great light, budgetly priced, 
passively cooled so it's completely silent. I can't say enough good things. This is a great light. I would recommend if you wanna take pictures and videos of your plant, stay away from the blurple style lights just because then you're gonna need special filters and things like that to get decent looking pictures. If you have any more interest in this light, you can check out the full review video on the channel here. And finally, to power all this, we're using a timer controlled power strip. It has four outlets that are timer controlled and four outlets that are always on. So I found this is a perfect amount not only to control the light, but also some other things in the tent that don't need running when the lights are out. But thanks for watching guys. I hope you gleaned some useful information on this tent setup video. I was just looking for something very quiet with an automated environment system that will help regulate humidity and temperature. So it's one less thing I have to worry about. We can just focus on growing these girls out and getting some really fat buds. Me and Heaven have a lot of content planned coming up, including a five by five grow series, the two by four series. We have edible videos planned. We have so much content guys. So be sure to follow us on all social media from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. You can find us on all social media accounts at high again. We'll see you in the next one.